crude oil, Europe and Asia stocks drop, and France issues a warrant for former Nissan executive Carlos Rossen. You're watching The Daily Brief with Forbes. I'm Ramia Faraj. Crude oil fell today after Japan said it would auction about 4.8 million barrels from its national reserve next month, and the U.S. Department of Energy said it's awarded contracts for the initial 30 million barrels from its strategic petroleum reserve. Brent crude dropped 1.7 percent to $106 a barrel at 1 p.m. GST today, while West Texas dropped 1.9 percent to $101 around the same time. The benchmarks have been at their most volatile for the past few weeks. Europe's stock markets opened sharply lower today on hawkish comments from the Federal Reserve about its monetary tightening plans. Asia also tumbled in the wake of heavy falls on Wall Street. The Fed exasperated worries over higher interest rates in key remarks had said it will have to move more aggressively to counter decades high U.S. inflation and that a half point interest rate increase is on the table for next month's meeting. The pound sank more than 1% against the dollar today after official data showed tumbling retail sales with Britons grappling with a cost of living crisis. London's benchmark FTSE 100 index was down half a percent as shares in retailers fell. Taking a closer look at those British retail sales, they plummeted in March as shoppers tightened their belts in the face of a growing cost of living crisis. Total sales volumes dropped 1.4 percent last month after a drop of half a percent in February. Officials say retail sales fell as rises in the cost of living hit consumer spending. They say online sales were hit particularly hard while motor fuel sales fell substantially as people stopped non-essential journeys. France has reportedly issued an international arrest warrant for former Renault and Nissan CEO Carlos Rossen. He's accused of funneling funds from Renault through an Omani car dealer to use for personal luxury purchases. Rossen has lived as a fugitive for nearly three years following unrelated allegations of financial misdeeds at Nissan. As a French and Lebanese citizen, Rossen won't face any immediate risk because Lebanon, where he's lived since 2019, doesn't extradite its citizens. And staying with Renault, its revenue fell in Q1 as the market was severely disrupted by the semiconductor shortage, inflation and the war in Ukraine. The French automaker announced revenue fell to $10.59 billion in the first quarter from $10.59 82 billion in the previous year period. Renault sold 552,000 vehicles in Q1, 17% fewer than the same quarter last year. The company confirmed its full year outlook and said it will provide an update on its strategy and financial objectives at the Capital Markets Day in the fall. Toshiba says it's hired financial advisors to solicit offers from investors on taking it private or other strategic alternatives. Its plan is to evaluate strategic alternatives, including a potential privatization. Toshiba has reportedly faced continued pressure from investors to consider a buyout. Earlier this month, the Japanese electronics giant said it would scrap plans to split the company in two and set up a committee to consider alternatives, including bids to take it private. S&P saw 11% Q1 revenue growth at $7.65 billion, beating estimates on the back of a boost from its cloud business. Analysts expected SAP to see $7.42 billion. The German business software group saw cloud and software revenue climb 12% to $6.54 billion in the quarter. SAP did, however, flag a revenue hit of $325.26 million because of its exit from Russia. Earlier this week, it announced it would exit Russia completely. Let's take a look now at today's Forbes real-time billionaires ranking. It tracks the daily ups and downs of the world's richest people. Our biggest loser today is Jeff Bezos, down $5.7 billion, with net wealth of $174.1 billion. Our second biggest loser is Mark Zuckerberg, down $4.3 billion overnight, with net wealth of $67.5 billion. And our third place loser is Larry Page, down $2.6 billion, with net wealth of $106.6 billion. Check out our website and our social media for all of the latest billionaires news. Ferrari will recall 2,222 cars in China due to a potential fault in its braking system. Starting from May 30th, Ferrari will recall some cars imported between March 2010 and March 2019. These include 458 of each of its Italia, Speciale and Spider models. I'm Rami Faraj. This is The Daily Brief. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend.